Hey guys, EGS Warrior here, and today I'm going to talk about a potential problem with Amazon's New World, made by Amazon Game Studio, which is a brand new studio by Amazon, and this is their first entry into their Game Studio, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm going to go over two, two potential problems, and really the first one I want to talk about is, is the game going to be delayed? Uh, speaking of, the game's release date is actually set in two months, which, uh, if you believe, Pretty soon and there's no date actually i don't know why it's a release date it's just a release month it just said sometime in may 2020 with no release date at all what's even more alarming is you have a april beta set for anyone who pre-ordered the game to be able to play there's no date on that and if you're watching today which today is april 4th we are in april and there is no date so that's a little alarming second part is are they were going to release the game on ready and you may know why I'm saying this or not. So a few months ago, Amazon Game Studios released a developer's update on New Worlds and completely changed most of what the ideal game of New Worlds was and made it more closer to a traditional MMO. Now, most of their combat systems, their systems are the same. It's just that their PvP system has changed a little bit. Now, I agree with the changes, bringing more PvE players in. Basically, their ideal is, and what they mentioned in some of their articles, is they want PvP players and PvE players to coexist. Now, how is that bad? It was a hardcore PvP game, and they've kind of switched it. Now, why are some of these problems coming up, and why I believe so, and why they haven't announced a date yet? is because when you think about it, they switched their ideals three months ago, and then basically said, hey, here's a release month. I believe that... I believe that the game may not be ready. So, two problems that can happen. First of all, Amazon could decide, we're going to delay it. And this is the option I would want them to go with if the game's not ready. The game could be ready, and I could just be paranoid that the date's not out yet, but I, most of the time when I follow games like this, and what I would presume a prestigious studio, even though they haven't made a game yet, because it's made by the richest company in the world, um... If they're not announcing a date, there's obviously a problem. So if it is not ready, I believe that they may delay it. Because if there's no dates now, they may delay the game itself. They may not delay a beta, but they may delay a game itself. And if they delay a game itself, can that become a problem? Um, no, I actually would want them to do this. If they delay the game, the game could potentially be better and i'd rather it be good on launch because that's how you s sink in players and hopefully they realize maybe they can upgrade their servers whatever they decide to do in that time of delay they make the game better and ready to go because you know the mmo genre is dying i want the genre to be better and i think delaying the game might help but that really depends if it's not ready or not because there's so little information about there with all these ndas and things like that like you can't talk about these systems that are in place because they don't um, let you and or if if you played the game so really it's just all speculation so let's hope it's ready and good to go but if it's not please delay it second thing that could really happen that could be a problem is let's say they decide not to delay it and it's not ready and they actually release the game if it's not ready to release the game mmos are usually big like okay first day we need it to be good to, to get a player base and then we need to keep making good changes to keep the player base i'm hoping it's good on the beginning and that the game gets the recognition it deserves and becomes a big game because MMOs are dying. Like no one wants to play MMOs anymore. They're just a boring, a boring genre now, just much like RTS at what it was used to be in the back in the day. And now it's nothing like what it used to be. So I really hope nowadays that the MMO genre can revive. And this might be one of those where it might revive because Amazon's got a lot of power to market this game. Um, so I really hope they decide to delay the game or announce a beta date and, or say like, Hey, we're not going to, we're not going to release the game in May. We're going to push it back a few months because we don't believe we're ready. We are going to give you a, the beta test. And I really hope for the people who pre-ordered it, including myself, get access to these beta tests if they delay it or, you know, get something for this because, you know, I really hope they don't just go out of the, and be like at the end of April, like, hey, guys, I know you were expecting a beta test, but we're not going to do it. And uh, we're delaying the game. Uh, those who pre-ordered it will get the game when it comes out. You know, that would suck. But I don't think... That'll happen. It's Amazon, so hopefully not. Anyway, uh, that's it for the video, guys. This is a quick thing I wanted to talk about. Um, 
go ahead and follow my Twitter, Twitch. You know, that's where I talk a lot. So if you want to hang out, follow those. Uh, also comment on the video. You know, we could have this discussion here. You know, if there's anything you want to talk about, let me know. And then also, you know, subscribe and like the video. I'm going to have another one out soon about everything you need to know about New Worlds. If you're watching this and you have no idea what the game is, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to have a video about all of the things you need to know about Amazon's New World. So that way, if the beta does come out, you're prepared. Or if you're waiting for the game, you're a little bit prepared. Um, but that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and peace!